Hello, this is Terry Blade Outdoors and welcome to another video. This is going to be part three of my do-it-yourself crystal shortwave radio set that I'm building. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is connecting all those parts I mounted to the project box, which was the switches, the uh, connectors for the antenna and the speaker, and also my variable capacitor for tuning. I'm going to connect all those up using wire and solder. And just a note, if you're curious on how a crystal radio set actually works, I can do a video at a very high level of how a crystal radio set works because it doesn't need power. No batteries, no nothing. But you can still tune in radio stations on the short wave and also the local AM radio stations. So let's go ahead and let's start wiring and get everything wired up and connected. And in the next video, I'm going to attach an antenna. I'm going to attach an external speaker and see if I can't get this thing to work. So let's get soldering and get all these connections done. All right, I've got everything connected except for one component, and that is my crystal. This is the heart of my do-it-yourself shortwave crystal radio set, and the crystal itself is embedded in this diode. So let's go ahead and put this last component in, and then I'll be finished. <laughs> I finally got it finished and it wasn't that bad putting it together and I just hope that I've got everything connected correctly and I'm sorry it took so long to post this video it's been several weeks now but I've had a lot going on and I've been working on this kind of on and off at night for several weeks but I finally got it done so I'm gonna stop the video here and in the next video I'm going to be connecting my antenna up, my earphone, and hopefully, hopefully, this thing will work. So, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks.